I'm an experienced data analyst, academic tutor and research consultant and in this course I'll teach you how to develop and conduct your first research project. Nowadays everything is based on research. The design of the websites you visit, the food you eat, the apps you install on your phone or the layout of the grocery store where you do your shopping. Research is really at the core of everything around us, every service and every aspect of our lives. It truly has the power to change lives and by learning to understand and do research you gain that power too. So in this course you will learn how to plan, conduct and describe your research study. I'll start with the importance of research questions, focusing on what a bad and a good research question is. I'll also explain the difference between a research idea, research aims and research questions, as well as explain the relationship between a research question and a research design and research methods. And then I'll cover all other major considerations in developing a research project, including the different data collection methods or different methodologies, such as grounded theory, case study or phenomenology. I explain the difference between methods and methodologies and also talk about different recruitment techniques, as well as answer the question of how many participants are enough for a qualitative research study. I'll also talk about piloting our study and increasing validity in research, as well as explain the practical importance of philosophical worldviews for our study. And finally, I'll also talk about writing different sections and chapters, such as the results or the limitations or the conclusions sections. Although this course is based on the assumption that you're conducting your research in an academic setting, and therefore I make some references to how to write certain sections or chapters, uh, the course will be useful to anyone and any professional who wants to learn about qualitative study and then develop and conduct their own research. However, if you're still not sure if this course is for you, feel free to explore the course curriculum. And if you still have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will make sure to respond to your questions.